Welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Virchow. Follow me on Instagram. See the art before the video. www.instagram.com backslash Creative Katie. Don't forget to share my Instagram and my YouTube channel with your creative friends. Today we have Index Card of Day number 22. It's entitled, Wish Upon a Star. As always, links to any products used can be found in the description box below. I hope you like this one as much as I do. Hi, I'm getting ready to do uh, the next index card and I've cut out these starfish. I have a starfish stamp and so I just made a template and I cut out these starfish from gel, a gel print that was purple. And why purple? Here is my inspiration. This is a real life starfish that I took a picture of up near Ladysmith and Parksville on Vancouver Island. And I was just amazed. I didn't know that starfish could be purple. And so this is my inspiration. This just recently came, came up on my Facebook memories. And so I just thought that's where I get my, got this inspiration from. So I want to create kind of a sea background on here and I'm just going to start with some greens and some blue And, you know, I'm just, again, very precise, right? <laughs> I want to do some stenciling on top of this yet, so if it's too mucky, you know, wipe off your finger and You know, you don't, I don't want to get this blendy, blendy. I really don't. And, you know, you could use uh, So I'm going to dry this and find a stencil. Okay, so I grabbed, you know, I, instead of grabbing a bubble stencil, I'm going to grab I grabbed this snakeskin stencil, it's a crafter's workshop, and you know, I just think that that might work really well. So I am going to hmm, I don't know if I want to use this dark green, but we'll give it a try. Little by little, build up. Ooh, that looks very underwatery. I'm liking it. And I want some places, I want a darker green than others. Ooh, who knew that a snakeskin stencil can be so versatile? I'm liking that, the look of that, absolutely. Ooh. 
Yeah, that works. This is phthalo blue green. Phthalo green. It's fairly translucent. It's not opaque at all at all at all, this one. Which is perfect for what I need here. how that is looking. Now we're just going to see how those look and I think I'm going to give this a bit of a wash with white paint. I'm just going to thin down some white here. I think that's perfect. On there. Give this a dry. Nope, wrong color. That's not the look I want. Let's just use this. There, that's better. And I'm using the blue. This way or this way and I have another idea but what I need to do first is I want to shade these because I want them to pop a little bit more and I'm just going to use some black and I'm just going to Do each and every one of these very well. 
one side and then I'll come back and I'll do the other side once it dries. So hopefully you can see how the shading has made them pop and now I just want to splatter them a little bit. Getting everything but the actual starfish. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and clean up, and we'll get ready for the next step. Okay, so I have this, I believe it's called Coastal Escape. Okay, I'm kind of I've got C-net in there and I'm going to put layer the stars here and done through my sentiments and I took the wish from one part and something else is a different sentiment now we have my purple starfish. My Just not quite looking.
I'm thinking it needs some splashes, but I'm going to put some silver on here. Hopefully that will do the trick. And here we have it. Wish upon a star. Bye for now.